crazy. Handle it easy. We've got to get out of here. Why? Those men are going to blow up this building. I thought you said you didn't know them. They work for me. We've got to get out of here. This ought to bring Evans into the syndicate. Yeah, he ought to be brought to his senses now. We're not leaving this place until you tell me what I want to know. I can't do that. You've got to. Come on out. Get to the car. Don't call those men. I tell you, we'll be killed if we don't get out of here. Are you going to talk? I don't know who's at you. Don't lie to me. I'm not. You've got to believe me. I take my orders from a young-looking guy with gray hair, scar on his face, calls himself Bordine. Ford? All right. Let's go. Upon the confession of Smith, the police raided the offices of the International Builders Syndicate, but found the offices deserted and all books and papers removed. Watch this. Smith was captured by Mike Axford, Sentinel reporter, who claims he downed the racketeer. I... What do you mean, claims? Sure, the man fought like a demon. Yeah, well, Smith told me that the Green Hornet knocked him out. You found him and drug him over to the police station. And would you be taking the word of a dirty crook against that of an upstanding citizen like myself? Sure, and I would at that. Well, hello, folks. The boss in? Hi, Fulton. What's the good news? How's the all well doing? Fine. Mr. Reed will be glad to see you. Well, I've got news for all of you. Come on along. Well... You mean you got iron in that wildcat well of yours? You really struck it, huh? <laughs> Hello, Reed. How are you? Hello, Fulton. What's all the riot about? Can a newspaper publisher have any privacy anymore? Looks like we're in the money, boss. Oh, really? Well, anyway, we're drilling into the hard rock, and we should have a gusher any day now. Uh oh, wait a minute, Jack. Wait a minute. Even experts don't predict gushers. That for your experts. I'm a wildcatter, and a wildcatter has a sixth sense for a gusher. Those $50 shares you folks chipped in to help me out on may be worth 10 or 20 times that amount. Well, uh, we're all millionaires, I can see that. What are we going to do with our ill-gotten gains? Well, I'm going to buy a fur coat. And I'm going to have me a car built that'll catch the green harness the first time I lay me eyes on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about you, Laurie? Well, when I put money into an all well, I just say, down the hatch and forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a report from one of our men at Fulton's oil field. I guess we didn't make any mistake when we loaned him that 25 grand to buy up the acreage around his test well. Get to the point. The test well's coming in. They struck hard rock yesterday, and everything indicates that they've really got something out there. Oh. Kane speaking. Oh, yes, Chief. One moment. Get me John Fulton's note. That's right, Chief. It's due today without grace. I've asked Fulton to come in. All right. Be ready for trouble when Fulton discovers he's a little mixed in his dates. 
Are you sure the note will bear inspection? Absolutely. I defy anybody to detect the alteration under a glass. Yeah, I've got two men here in case he starts anything. Goodbye. Well, it's been a tough job to finance, Britt. And if it wasn't for you and a few more of my friends putting up the money for the equipment, I'm afraid I couldn't have made it. Well, Fulton, how did you handle the option on the acreage surrounding the well? By borrowing 25 grand on a short-term note. I hope there's no slip-up. Not a chance. My note still has 30 days to run, and long before that, I'll be rolling in money. Good luck to you. Thanks, Brent. I hope you put it over. I certainly will try. Right. Fulton is here. Send him in. Will you come in, Mr. Fulton? Certainly will. How are you, Fulton? Fine. Heard you wanted to see me, Kane. What can I do for you? How's that well coming along? Great. Be flowing by tomorrow. Good. You made me pay pretty stiff interest in that money, Kane. But I don't begrudge it. The hundred acres I tied up is going to be worth a million. That's fine. Did you bring the check with you? Check. <laughs> you don't have to worry about the check, Kane. Why, by the time your note is due, I'll be rolling in money. By the time it's due? It was due today at noon. Why, you're crazier than a hoot owl. That note still has 30 days to run. Somebody's crazy, but I don't think it's me. There must be some mistake. The note I signed was due on the 31st, not the 1st, as this one reads. That's your signature, isn't it? Yes, it is. Then don't Welsh. If your weld failed to come in on time, that's your hard luck. Of course, if you wish to take the matter into court... I don't have to bring the matter into court. I'm going to tear up that note and write you a new one with the right date. Now hand it over. Get back. Bonnie, throw this crook out. Sheriff has attached Fulton's oil well and the Kane outfit's taking it over. Have you checked on Kane? Yeah, that outfit operates just within the law. Kane claims that Fulton assaulted him when he tried to collect his note. He and his men threw Fulton out and... Fulton, what happened? Give us a story. I'll give you the story. I'll get that Kane if it's the last thing I ever do, that dirty crook. Oh, wait a minute. Look, on your way, Larry. This but... isn't for publication. Boss, oh, I... Go on, go on. Okay. Sit down, Jack. There goes your fur coat, Casey. Down the hatch. Crepe hanger. The note I signed was due the 31st. Now the crooks have altered it to the 1st. Why, the... Jack, if it's been altered, we'll show that when we get into court. I'm not going into court. The job he did was perfect. You mean you saw the note? Yes, I did, and it read the 1st. Why, he's branded me a crook before you and all my friends. I'll get him if it's the last thing I do. Oh, wait a minute, Jack. Oh, let me go. I'll handle this my own oh, way. Oh, you're not going to. Did you ring, Mr. Reed? Uh... Uh, yes. Yes, call the apartment and have Cato get the limousine down here right away. Yes, sir. And have him come in the alley entrance and keep the shades drawn. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Jack. But get this straight. Whatever dirty work there is in this deal, we know you're not responsible for. And your friends are behind you 100%. Thanks, Brett. I'm sorry I lost my head. I only want you to know that I have been tricked. I'm sure of it. There's a warrant out for you. And you're going to hide out in my apartment until I can clear this thing up for you. Anything you say, Brett. Cato is on his way. Good. And get a hold of Axford and tell him that he and I are going to make a little call. Yes, sir. Britt Reed, the Sentinel's outside with another man. What the devil is Reed after? Are Bonnie and Sam here? Yeah. All right, send Reed in. And tell the boys to stand by. Okay. Will you come in, please? How do you do, gentlemen? How do you do, Mr. Kane? Have a chair. Thank you. What can I do for you? We'd like to know about John Fulton's oil well. Your man Larry's been here, Mr. Reed. I told him all there was to tell. Fulton had a note come to you, and... We didn't come here for a story, Kane. It just so happens that Axford and I invested a small amount of money in Fulton's well. Since the company is unincorporated, 
We want to know where we stand. And see here, Mr. Kane. I've known Johnny Fulton for five years, and an honester lad... That's all, Michael. Now, about those shares, Kane. Legally, Mr. Reed, you and the rest of the investors haven't a leg to stand on. However, we will no doubt be able to pay off the small stockholders up to the amount of their investments. That's very generous. We want to be fair, and no doubt would be some expense if we were obliged to go to court. But, Reed, if the well turns out to be a grocer... It hasn't, Michael. You're lucky to get your money back. Thanks very much for the information. You're quite welcome. Good day. Good day, sir. Mr. Fulton. He's asleep now, Mr. Brip. Sleep, huh? How is he? Not very good. Keeps muttering in his sleep about crooks and changing date on note. Hmm. Lock his door on the outside. The Green Hornet's going to have a look at that note. Close that safe, Kane. The Green Hornet. Right, Kane. The Green Hornet. What do you want? John Fulton's note for $25,000. Fulton's note? I, I haven't it. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. I gave the note to Galt. Who is Galt? He's a new owner of the Fulton Oil Properties. I sold out to him and... He wanted the note to attach to his bill of sale in case the title was questioned. Then you thought it might be questioned, huh? Where is Galt now? He's out at the well. Get him on the phone. Come on, come on. Well, the first thing in the morning, there'll be a truck here with explosives any time now. Well, why shoot a well that's drilled the hard rock? It's dangerous, and besides... I'll decide what's dangerous around here. All you have to do is to obey orders. Hello? Hello, Gold. This is Kane. Have you got that note of John Fulton's with you, or did you record it? I got it right here in my pocket. I haven't had time to record it yet. Why? The boss said it was okay. Well, we might want to have it around in case this matter goes to court. Keep it with you. That's all. Galt says the chief told him the note was okay. So you and Galt are part of the syndicate, huh? Now come across fast, Kane. Who's the chief? I can't tell you that. They'd kill me. Fulton's note, Mr. Britt? Not yet, but I will before the night's over. Faster. Here's your nitro cartridges. Where will you have them? Right here on the platform. Okay. Don't any of you fellas trip over. That'll blow you from here to Mars. When do you start shoot the well? Tomorrow morning, as soon as the crew get here. Good luck to you. Miss Kudata. Well, I still think you'd better continue drilling. You're not supposed to think. continue to work for me, you'll have to obey orders without question. 
Well, I only thought... Never mind what you thought. Give me a flashlight. Hey, Mr. Gulf. Don't move. Either of you. The Green Hornet. I knew there was something phony about this job. There is. Gulf, I want John Fulton's note that Kane endorsed over to you. How do you know about that? Perhaps you told me about it. Come on, hand it over, quick. I know tricks, Gulf. Give me that. You on October 1st, eh? That was a clever job of altering the date. You're crazy. No one altered that note. Talk fast if you want to live. The date was the 31st when Fulton signed the note. Who changed the date? Quick. Don't shoot. Kane used disappearing ink when he wrote the three on the date. It faded out a few hours later and left only the one. That note's good in any court in the country. That's no good to you, Horner. How about a little split? I don't need a split. With what I know, I can force Fulton to pay me $50,000 for that note. Uh, 50000 We'll do better than that. We? Oh, you're a part of the crime syndicate, eh? Who's the boss of the outfit? I don't belong in no outfit. I'm just a hired hand here. Stop! Stop! 